Crayola makes 465 million colored markers every year. In the hands of a young artist, every picture is a masterpiece. But eventually, the ink runs dry. So Crayola's color cycle program came up with a creative use for all those used up markers. They're collaborating with Green Mantra Technologies who turn post-consumer plastics into surprising new products like wax, ink, and asphalt treatments. And when it comes to finding a use for out-of-use markers, things are looking up. Felt-tipped markers morph into roof shingles. To make the change, the engineers at Green Mantra break the plastic down through a chemical process into a new material that coats the base of the shingle. Bins of discarded markers arrive from schools across the country. Any residual ink has been drained and the felt tips removed. A worker dumps bucket loads of markers into a hopper. The markers tumble into a shredder that chews them into one centimeter chips. An operator vacuums a load of chips into an extruder where they're melted. The plastic then flows into a large tank where heat and a proprietary ingredient breaks the plastic down into a synthetic wax. The wax exits as tiny beads that rain down onto a conveyor belt. Water sprays from below to cool and harden the wax beads. The beads slide down a conveyor and are funneled into large sacks for shipping. The pellets are ready for their next stop on their way to the top. The wax pellets are melted and mixed with other materials to form roofing shingles. Recycling engineers shred, melt, and process felt-tipped markers and convert them into reusable wax pellets. The wax pellets arrive at Malarkey Roofing Products in Portland, USA, who roll out enough shingles every year to cover the rooftops of 150,000 homes. The shingles are manufactured with a fiberglass mat that's coated with a liquid wax and asphalt blend, a layer of ceramic coated granules, and finally, a sawtooth top layer laminated to a solid bottom layer. The first step in making a shingle is to melt the wax pellets. A worker opens the bag and releases the wax beads into the mixer. Heated to 93 degrees Celsius, the mixer blends the polymer pellets with asphalt. A fiberglass mat, the base of the shingle, rolls through a coater that saturates it with the wax and asphalt blend. This hot, gooey mixture makes the shingle airtight and waterproof. In creation step three, the saturated mat rolls under a hopper, which drops a heavy sprinkling of granules onto the sticky surface. The granules determine the color of the final product and give the shingle a gritty texture that's resistant to UV rays. The sheets pass under a cold shower to bring the temperature of the coating down. Once the wax is cooled, the sheets can be cut and laminated into shingles. A sealant machine runs two strips of adhesive along the back of the sheet. The mat rolls under a cutting drum that slices the sheet into sawtooth pattern top layers and solid bottom layers. Finally, the top and bottom layers are bonded together to form a single two-ply shingle.
At the end of the cutting line, 16 shingles are automatically stacked and dropped onto the conveyor. The stacks roll up to a packaging machine, which wraps them into bundles with enough shingles to cover three square meters. The packages are piled onto pallets, loaded onto trucks, and shipped off to construction sites. Taking creative thinking to new heights, spent Crayola markers have been processed into pellets and reinvented as long-lasting shingles.